trying to solve. Yeah, that's a really, really, I, I know I've said this three or four times, so that's another really good question. It's something that I'm trying to tease out on my own, and I kind of have some of my own theories to that that I'll speak of a little bit. But um, there's not so much like concrete evidence on that right now. So I think what you're kind of getting at a little bit is like, you know, would ketamine be better for depression or would psilocybin be better for depression or would, you know, ketamine maybe be better for PTSD over psilocybin or MDMA better? I don't know if we have all of those, you know, questions teased out in the literature overall. Um, but just from, you know, my own experience with patients, um, like it seems like ketamine is really good for um, treatment resistant depression. So when you're just in a state where you like can't feel like any kind of love whatsoever um, and you uh, and you just kind of can't get going and you're very angry and, and kind of like upset and pissed off at the world, it seems like it kind of like negates those effects almost immediately, like within, you know, 24 hours, like I was saying. Um, Whereas like psilocybin, uh, which is magic mushrooms. Um, now there are different magic mushrooms. So you have to be you know, careful, but for the most part, it's a little bit more like energizing, you know, especially during the experience of like, of like a microdose. So when you take ketamine, um, you know, people, if they do have side effects after, like they may tend to feel a little bit tired. Now, now they, they may not always feel tired though, because like I said, if you're depressed and it lifts you out of your depression, that usually kind of gives you a little bit of energy. But for psilocybin, um, you know, people tend to to kind of like I've heard a lot of people almost say that it's like an entrepreneurial sort of drug. Like it really kind of lifts you up and pushes you forward and gives you energy. Um, and I've joked around. I know you do MMA. Like I've joked around with friends that like, man, like psilocybin should be on the water list. Like the shit makes you like go when you're when you're doing training people that, yeah i mean yeah. there's stories of guys that will microdose and they say i mean it's crazy but anything's possible any anymore christ they say like you can almost see the punch coming where yeah i know like, like i had one of my you know like i was uh